The government of Kenya today reassured Washington that it is taking every precaution to assure the safety of the new United States ambassador, Clarence Rodman, and his family. It was just one week ago today that United States Ambassador Harrison and his family were killed by a suicide bomber while en route to the theater. The Kenyan rebel organization claimed responsibility for the killing. Rebel leader Jafari bin Qasim announced today that he will continue to resist any Western intervention in Kenya and across Africa. Who the hell are they, Lieutenant? That should be our shortly ambassador. Now that's what you told me 15 minutes ago. I can assure you, Ambassador, that you and your family are perfectly safe on this train. When the Delta Force boys are on board this train, that is when I'll feel safe. I understand that, but until then, the Kenyan government is doing everything to ensure your safety. There are soldiers on the ground, on top of the train, and there is a no-fly zone around the train. And what is that plane doing there? Uh, that's NWTV broadcasting your arrival in Kenya. What are you trying to tell the world, Mr. Williams? That the new American ambassador is sneaking into Kenya on a freight train like a thief in the night? In light of what happened to Ambassador Harrison, I thought... I'm not interested in what you thought. Look, just get on your radio and find out what's holding these guys up. I'm sorry, Ambassador. My orders are to maintain radio silence. I don't give a fuck what your orders are. I do not feel totally safe here. I can assure you, sir. Mr. Williams, might I suggest that you just shut up? You get on that radio, and you tell those Delta Force guys to get their asses on this train ASAP, right? Yes, sir. Clarence Rodman here, do you copy? Ambassador Clarence Rodman here, do you copy? his credentials to President Moy. The military is on full alert. Ambassador Rodman and his family... I got the guy to 
make men free. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Take it, Sarge. Take it, Cedric. This is for me. Ready? Let's go. Quits. You're not calling the rescue team. We're the Delta Force, Cap. Our job is to rescue, not to be rescued. Face it, Bob. It's over.
It's over. What the hell? It must be a mistake. I wish it was. I'll signal Kennedy. We got it. Signal received from Delta Force. Proceed to location. Copy that. On my way. General, they've just called in the rescue team. That's a bluff. The Delta Force never, never calls for help. It's their emergency frequency. What if it's for real, sir? And it looks like we are going to get more than we bargained for. still be able to jerk off. <laughs> Medic! Hold on, David. Just hold on, man. Oh, come on, come on! David! David! Come on, man. David, don't talk. Man. Don't talk. David, David, save your energy, man. Come on. I'm here, David. I'm here. I'm here. Come on. Come on. Keep looking at me. Keep looking. Keep looking. Give that to my brother. No way, man. David, you're not gonna die. I'm not gonna let you go, David. Don't fucking die on me, man. Come on, David. Your mother's gonna be real pissed if you die on me, man. David, come on, man. Jesus! Fuck! under the building. It runs all the way out past the railroad tracks. Is it clear? It's clear. Good. Reload, go kick some ass. Duke. Duke. Duke, where the hell are you? Oh, shit. Cap, I'm gonna check on Duke. Hi. David, he didn't make it. Check on Cedric. Come on, we're getting out of here, partner. Not until you tell him to stop. I'm giving you an order, soldier. Is that understood? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Then you're gonna grab your firearm and you're gonna move your ass on my mark. Understood? Understood! Yes, sir. 
You ready? Okay, let's move. to stay with you, sir. You pick up your gear, you're leaving with the sergeant now! I'm staying to cover! Captain! I'm staying here with you! Same goes for me, Captain. Captain! You got it, Cedric. You're staying with me. Skip, you two will cover. Johnson, take the method location for the rescue helicopter. Phil! Captain! Look, I just... Goodbyes are for women, Phil. Just go. Captain, why can't I stay? Because you're married, Charlie. No, I'm only engaged. Same freaking difference. Go! I don't even have a girlfriend, sir. That's where you're going to get laid, Gary. You go. You take care, sir. Sergeant, you get these men home alive. I sure will, Captain. Tell my ex she can get any of my junk if she wants it. Also, there's a will in my safe deposit box at the bank. Here. I want you to tell their families that they were brave. You tell them that they were heroes. And you tell them that they died for their fucking country. Serving with you, Brad. Cedric, Skip, let's give them all we got, boys. What do you say, man? Let's do this.
check Captain Kennedy's waiting forms. I'll handle it, General. I'll report back to you later. That's all right. Okay. Proceed. I then heard Captain Kennedy shout, No, Bob, no. And then what happened? Sergeant Johnson pushed Captain Kennedy into the tunnel. Did you see Sergeant Johnson pushing Captain Kennedy into the tunnel? No, sir. I didn't. Did Captain Kennedy try to reopen the door? He sure did, sir. But the door was locked from the inside, and the only way to open it was to blow it. Why didn't you? Because we didn't have any explosives, sir. Did Captain Kennedy tell you why he didn't want you to stay behind? Yes, sir. He said because I was engaged to be married, sir. Let me get this straight, soldier. Captain Kennedy didn't want you to stay behind because he wanted you to go home and get laid. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Does the phrase all for one and one for all mean anything to you, Captain? Of course, sir. That's our motto, the Delta Force motto. And do you practice that motto, Captain Kennedy? Absolutely, sir. And what were you thinking when you left Private Cedric Bass and Corporal Skip Loomis behind? Skip and Cedric insisted on staying, sir. Why didn't you draw straws? There wasn't time for that. Tell me why you all didn't stay behind. A few had to stay behind to give cover to the rescue team, sir. Then it was clear to you whoever stayed behind stood no chance of survival, unless, of course, you surrendered. Surrender was out of the question, sir. Very good, Captain. That'll be all. Is it that bad, John? General Hyde wants you suspended until the committee reports out. If you're cleared, he said he'll reinstate you. I guess I can use some R&R. &R. But I want you out, Brad. For good. You've destroyed the reputation of the Delta Force, which I built up with the sweat of my brow. You ran out of that compound like a mouse from a sinking ship. General, my men and I were outnumbered. You with... fucked up, Brad. Badly. And it wasn't the Israeli army you were fighting, or the British, or the French. It was a bunch of Kenyan assholes who don't know which end of the rifle bullets come out of. I wouldn't say we were fighting untrained soldiers, sir. Don't tell me who the enemy is, Captain. We've been studying those rebels and their leader, Yafari bin Qasim. Sergeant Summers is here, sir. Send her in. Tell me all, Sergeant Summers. Here. That's what's left. The compound. You can add another three names to your casualty list. Take a closer. Thank you. 
Where can we go all night? You must be tired driving all the way from Fort Bragg. I was a drive. This was David's favorite chair. He used to spend hours sitting in it and reading. He loved to read. my favorite picture of David. He wanted to be an electronics engineer, but first he wanted to do his duty. He was a good soldier, ma'am. <laughs> Truth is, I tried to talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen to me. You probably also didn't want to listen to your mother. You're right, I didn't. No mother wants her son to go to war. Please, come and sit down. I want you to meet my husband. Joe, come on down. You must be hungry. You've driven a long way. I'm going to get you something to eat. No, no, please. Got some great chicken soup. It'll do you good. It always does. Joe! Joe! I'm here. Captain Kennedy. Yes, sir. David spoke very highly of you. Please take a seat. That's my dad. May he rest in peace. <clears throat> Taken two days before D-Day. He died on the beach of Normandy. I was four years old. I barely remember him. He was a handsome young man. David looked a little bit like him. This is... This is me. Vietnam. Two tours. Yeah. My father was killed in Vietnam. He was a fighter pilot. A lot of my friends died right beside me. <laughs> Ruby. That's my younger son. Ruby. He wants to be a fighter pilot. You ought to see his room. Ruby! The whole ceiling is just covered in model airplanes. He'll be anxious to meet you. Yeah? Ruby, say hello to Captain Kennedy. Son. Ruby? What's wrong? You killed my brother. Ruby. Get the fuck out of my house. Ruby, go back to your room right now. Why, Dad? You yourself said he was responsible for what happened in Kenya. Isn't that why they discharged you? Hell, Captain, we... We know it wasn't your fault. I remember in Nan, you couldn't tell one village from another. I'm not sure I understand, Mr. Berman. You landed at the wrong place. That's what General Thompson said. Right. I better go. David wanted you to have these. Reuben, your brother David was my friend. He was a brave soldier, and it was an honor and privilege to have him in my platoon. Now, you remember that, son. for African Economic Development is underway at the Boston Financial Center in Copley Square. European and American business leaders are meeting with the finance ministers of many African nations to discuss investment in Africa. Security is extremely tight for fear of attack Let by the terrorist Jafari bin Khatun, who has vowed free. to disrupt the conflict.
We believe that the economic support will help create long-term benefits for both the governments and investors. Excuse me, sir. Glory. Glory. I'm staying here with you. Hallelujah. Excuse me, sir. Karen, what are you doing here? We need to talk. What's wrong? Everything. Brad, you better sit down. No, what's wrong, Karen? Look, you heard what happened today in Boston. What, the bombing? Yeah. I already saw this on the I news. I want you to watch it. Holy shit. That looks just like... Yes. It is Cedric. He became one of Jafari's suicide bombers. This photo was taken by a security camera moments before he blew himself up. No, it can't be Cedric. Cedric's dead, Karen. They found his dog tags on the bomber's body. Well, that means Johnson and Skip might be alive. This morning, we picked up an emergency signal from Jafari's headquarters in Kenya. And that's what I came to tell you. You know, Thompson will court-martial you for giving me classified information. You know that. No, he won't. I got too much on him. I know what he did to you guys in Kenya. What did he do? He diverted you to Qatar. He knew that Jafari was listening, and... He wanted him to think that the ambassador's train was being rerouted to Qatar to pick up the Delta Force. Wait a minute, you're saying Thompson used us as bait? He has an agenda to eliminate Jafari. At any cost. And how do you know this, Karen? Thompson set up a secret unit to find out Jafari's whereabouts, and he put me in charge. So for the past year, all I've been doing is studying the profile of Jafari. I know him better than his five wives put together. Did Thompson try to eliminate Jafari? Yes, he did. He sent those missiles while we were still there, didn't he? Open that door, soldier. I said open that door now! Yes, sir. Send the signal to the ship immediately. Yes, sir. Why did you lie to me? Why did you tell me they were dead? Take your hands off me, Brad. Or... or what? You send me back to Katal, be bait for Jafari? Send missiles, blow up my fucking men? Want me to remove him, sir? It's all right. You can leave now. You sure, sir? I'm fine. <clears throat> You're gonna spend the rest of your life in jail for what you did to my men. Carrot! I got the proof right here. If I go down, so will she. 
for passing classified information. It'll be worth it if it stops the killing, General. Defending our freedom, justice, and the American way of life sometimes requires casualties. Each one of us in a uniform is a potential casualty. If you really want to know about defending our country, let me tell you. A few must die so others will live. So I suggest you start thinking about tomorrow's mission. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Eskimo pussy yeah, is yeah, mighty yeah. cold. Eskimo pussy is mighty cold. Fellas, what's up? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get down to business. This morning, the Minnesota picked up an emergency signal from Kenya. We're hoping that's our boys. We'll be taking off for the Indian Ocean tomorrow at 0600 hours, where we'll meet up at the Minnesota. From there, move on to Kenya and bring back Johnson and Skip. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to say goodbye to Corporal Charlie Moore and to thank him for his commitment and honorable service to our country. It's been a pleasure. I'd like you to please join me in saying hello to Sergeant Charles Moore, your new sergeant. All right. I just found out you're coming on the mission. Why, Karen? Why what? Why what? You know what I'm talking about. Thompson assigned me this job. And you can say no. What, in rotten jail? <laughs> Thanks for the advice. And besides, I want to go. Don't do this to me, Karen, please. I'm not doing this to you. I'm doing it for me. You know, this isn't a game we're playing here. Don't lecture me again. I'm going. And that's final. This is real? War here. Real explosions, real guns. People are going to get killed. And when they die, they don't come back when you put three more quarters in the machine. That's it. Game's over forever. I know that. I'm a soldier, remember? No, you're a woman. Excuse me? I meant you're my woman. X, Rad. X. You left me because you said that you couldn't lead men to war, knowing that there was a wife at home worrying about you. Do you remember saying that? I'd rather have you in jail where you're safe. I'd die if anything happened to you, Karen. I'd die. It's funny you say that. You sound just like me. This just came in from the White House. It's from the President. Members of the elite Delta Force. Jafari bin Qasim crossed the line when he exported terrorism into our backyard. Your mission is to apprehend bin Qasim and bring him here to stand trial for the murder of American citizens. Good luck, and may God be with you. Gentlemen. The President of the United States would like us to apprehend Bin Qasim and bring him home to stand trial. But we all know what the result is going to be. After months of a costly trial for which the American taxpayers will pick up the tab, Jafari will receive a minimum jail term with all the perks of the Plaza Hotel Penitentiary. This is unacceptable. To me, to you, 
and to the American people for whom we took the oath to defend and protect. The only sentence Ben Qasim deserves is the same sentence he delivered to his victims. With all due respect to our Commander-in-Chief, I say we go after Ben Qasim with everything we've got and blast his ass off the face of this earth. All in agreement? Yes, yes sir. sir. Captain Kennedy? Sir, we all know what Jafar is capable of doing. We saw what he did to Cedric. We can assume that Sergeant Johnson and Corporal Skip Loomis face a similar fate, which is why we're here. We believe it is not too late to bring home our men. One for all, all for one. One, one for all, all for one. Our job is to laze Jafari's headquarters for the cruise missiles, which will be launched from the Minnesota. Once the laser detector is put in place, we have 15 minutes, and I repeat, 15 minutes to get in, get Johnson and Loomis, and get out of there. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Sergeant Summers, we've got a signal. It's coming from the seaport. And once we land, we divide into three groups. Jackson, Vince, you will stay outside. You'll clear away for the incoming choppers, and you give us cover. Captain. It's not coming from Jafari's headquarters. You sure? Where is it coming from? It's coming from the seaport near Kenya, roughly about 150 miles from Jafari's camp. I bet they escaped. I doubt it. So do I. Well, if Johnson and Skip aren't sending the signal, then who is? Jafari? That thought did cross my mind. I don't get it. Why would Jafari send a signal from his headquarters and then travel 150 miles to send another one? Well, the only logical explanation would be that maybe Jafari wants us to think that Johnson managed to escape. You think it's a trap? I'm afraid I do. Well, there's one way to find out. No, Brad. You're not going. What if you're wrong, General? What if Johnson and Skipper are in that port at this very moment, waiting for us to get in there with a rescue team? Are you willing to risk more lives than you're gonna save? Johnson and Skip risked their ass to save our lives, General. We're paying them back. Okay. You go. Five of you. Surveillance mission. Yes, sir. Seaport's in a range. Delta Force is ready, sir. Is there any word on Jafari's whereabouts? No, but everything seems too quiet. Brad. Brad. No. I don't want to say it. But I want to say it. Captain? Gary. We're waiting. Right. Yeah. Sergeant.
Signal's coming from that warehouse. Sixty yards away. Jackson, Gary, you take that door. You got it, Cap. Charlie, Phil, you come with me. Sergeant Johnson. Skip. Skip, it's me, Charlie. Jackson, what's going on out there? Seems okay here, Cap. Gary, how's it look your way? Okay, my side, Cap.
assholes that never come. What kept you? We had a whole welcoming committee out here. Dang, man. What are you doing, Cat? Looks like you put on a few pounds there, Skip. Well, that's what comes from eating good food all day. Where's Sergeant Johnson, Skip? He's not here. I mean, he isn't here. Where is he, then? Where? I haven't seen him since Qatar. Why didn't you and Johnson stick together? Sergeant Johnson thought it'd be better for our survival if we split up. Which direction did the sergeant take? He went east. Cedric went west. I headed south until I got here. You sure you headed south, Skip? Sure. Why? Because we're west of Catal, man, not south of it. Idiot. Don't talk too much. Welcome, Delta Force. You're surrounded. Lay down your weapons and come out with your hands above your heads. Or you die. Ground Control, this is Team Leader. Over. This is Ground Control. Go ahead. All right, General, we got Skip, but Johnson's not here. Where is he? Skip doesn't know. Jafari's soldiers are all over the place outside. We're gonna need reinforcements quickly. I copy. We can hold them off, but not for long. I copy. They're on their way. Brad, I want you to leave your radio open. Yes, sir. Leave that line open! Your reinforcements are not going to save you, Captain. Your time's up. Let us die to make men free. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. What the fuck is he saying? Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. He's gonna blow himself up at the end of the song. No. Do something. Skip, no. Press the button, Skip. Press it. I can take him out, Captain. No! Skip, no! Skip, no! Its truth is my chain. because you're the best around, pal. I like it in my district. Let's go! I'm gonna go to med school. I know you are. You're gonna make it. 
think you're great, Dr. Skip. Look at ER. That's where you belong, man. <laughs> Skip, can you tell us where Sergeant Johnson's at? They've got him in the, in the dungeon. You mean the headquarters? <laughs> Cedric called it the dungeon. <laughs> mission is to infiltrate Jafari's headquarters and laser it for the missiles. Now, once the laser guide is turned on, we'll have 15 minutes, and I repeat, 15 minutes, to get in, get Johnson, and get the hell out of there. Is that clear? Sergeant Summers will guide us with real-time satellite photos. Sergeant. Jafari's a chameleon. The thrill of seeing his suicide bombers blowing themselves up brings him closer to the crime scene. Now, this photo was taken by a reporter after the explosion in Boston, and here we see Jafari, the man, videotaping the aftermath of the explosion. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if Jafari... This is a non-smoking building, Corporal. It wouldn't surprise me if Jafari took these home videos and shared in moments of pleasure with Dr. Oleg Karlovich. Now, he's the notorious Russian psychiatrist who brainwashes these young men and turns them into suicide bombers. He's also known for his experiments with remote mind control. And he refers to his suicide bombers as his pets. So if you find Dr. Karlovich, it's most likely Sergeant Johnson won't be too far behind. You should also note this symbol. You'll find it painted in blood on the door frame of a suicide bomber's room. What does the symbol mean? Well, African tribes believe that the serpent protects them from being harmed by the spirits of the people they've killed. And Dr. Karlovich uses this in his remote mind control process. I have to warn you, though, this symbol spells danger, so if you see it on the door in Sergeant Johnson's room, know that he's dangerous and probably armed, even if he appears friendly. Turn around, Sergeant. Uh, I'm all done, General. Okay, man. All I can say to you is good luck. Bring back the son of a bitch, and I hope you get home safely. Good luck, Brad. I hope you find Johnson and bring him home. Thank you, sir. Now, let's take another look at those aerial surveillance photos. Karen. 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 Look about the other night. Please. Don't, Brad. Goodbyes are for women. That's what you always say. Gotta go.
Jafar's helicopter still in the compound. He's still there. Good news. Get a lock on that, can you?
synchronize your watches. Got it, Cap. Got it, Cap. At five, four, three, one. two, one. Laser set. Set. Laser's on, Cap. Remember, 15 minutes, that's all we've got. Get in, get out, let's do it. Gary, take point. Gentlemen, let's move. One of the lasers are set. We've got a signal. Do you concur, Captain? I concur, sir. On my mark. Three, two, one, launch! <laughs> Austin, fire that hole. Gary, you take the point. Yes, sir. Everybody out of here now. Charlie, take point. Come on, let's go. Move, move, move. <laughs> Welcome, Captain Kennedy. To what do I deserve this honor? Uh, you know very well why I'm here, Jafari. Of course. How presumptuous of you, Captain. Because unless you lay down your weapons and surrender, you're all going to die in here. 
General Thompson, you there? This is ground control. Proceed. Aren't you forgetting Sergeant Johnson? I got a deal for you, Jafari. A deal. Now this I've got to hear. Go ahead, Captain. I'm listening. What the hell's he doing? I don't know, but he must have a plan. Jackson! Vince! We're coming out! Okay, Jafari, here's the deal. Let Johnson go and let's all get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, why would I settle for that? Because in seven minutes, this place is gonna get blown to fucking bits by three cruise missiles. Nice try, Captain. You don't believe me, you can ask General Thompson. He's the one that sent him. Tell him, General. The crazy Brad, he's gonna cut loose. Tell him, General. Are you trying to make a fool of me, Captain? God damn it, General, tell him. It's true, Jafari, it's true. The missiles have been launched. Hand it over, Sergeant. Hand it over. That's an order. Johnson and I leave, and then I take care of the missiles. Dismissed. Captain, get out of there now. That's an order. General, I'm busy here. Son of a bitch! What about Cap? Don't worry. Brad's gonna get Johnson. They're gonna get out of it. But we only got two minutes left. Tell him to stop. Cut him, bitch. Bob, no! Oh, Johnson's mine. He responds to only what I say. Bob, listen to me. You will do what I say. I will do what you say. Last one's for me, Bob. Remember that? Last bullet's for me. Let's go. Move! Bob. Oh, my God, Bob. Wake 
wake up, pal. Bob, it's me. Look at me. Come on. Come on, pal. We gotta get out of here. I know you're good, man. You gotta work with me. You gotta move. You gotta work with me. You gotta work with me. Brad and the boys are still there, General. Deactivate the missiles. I can't do that, Sergeant. point of no return. It's over, guys. <sighs> Cap's taking too long. We should go back and get him. Charlie, we gotta go back and fetch him, man. Stay put. We got one minute. I knew they'd make it. Cut it off. 